Okay, so I'm sitting here today and I have a lot to do. And I'm sitting here and I'm stuck. I've been creating all weekend. I've been playing around. I've been getting a few things that I have to get done as far as commission-wise, gift-wise, and things that I need to send out that I'm late on. Um, for Crafty Link, they have this thing called Theme Thursday. And it is um, where they give you a piece of paper, a, a digital, uh, not a piece of paper, <laughs> a digital um, print. And it's free. And you do what you want with it. So I was sitting and I was, bo not bored, but like lost. I couldn't figure out what the heck I wanted to do. Um, in general, at the moment, where to start, you know how you got. So I sat and I looked at this paper. And it comes in a complete square, of course. And you print it on your computer. And I thought, you know what I want to do? I want to make a tree. So you could say I didn't trim it as well as I wanted to yet because it was still wet. But so I cut it out into a tree shape, put some glitter balls, did some just playing around completely. Nothing. It, it was just, you know, now looking at it, I say, wow, I should have done this, that, the other, but I didn't. So what I'm going to do is kind of put a hole here and hang it. Let's see. Kind of hang it. So it kind of just hangs and glitters, and it's, it's what I did. They have a really great contest where on Thursdays they give you a free sheet of um, digital paper, and you do whatever you want with it. You, and then you post it, and you can win. Um, so it's really great. I was just sitting here. Like I said, I have to, some of the glues come, you know, I have to sit and kind of fiddle with it a bit more. However, I'm kind of, it kind of inspired me to continue on um, doing what I was doing, and I got a lot more done. Now, here I sit. It's Sunday morning, and I'm <laughs> I'm in a bind. I'm in a loss. I'm in a loss. At a in a loss. At a loss. Whatever. So I thought, what would be fun? I found I, I've been straightening up a little bit, and I found these canvases that I have had. Um, this is from a show I did. I, I bet you two years over two years ago, uh, maybe even three. A live show that I had done, and you could tell I took molding paste. And I had done a stamp in it and did a green. I don't know what I was doing. But anyway, so I'm sitting here, and I hate wasting things. <laughs> so um, I thought, well, what can I do? What can I do? I'm trying to peel it up. Apparently, this does not want to come up. I really used a glue that I'll never find again, I guess, because when I usually use glue, it never sticks this good. But this could be, I don't know what kind of glue it is, but apparently it's hard. So we have a chunk there, so I don't know what I'm going to do with that. So I thought, let's play a little background game. Shall we? Um, what can we use first? I like the background of the green. So I think I'm going to go. I always like to go light to darkest, obviously, um, as you know. Um, or I say all the time, anyway, if you don't know. I think I'm going to go. Gosh. I think I'm going to do a nice uh, light blue. I don't know. We're going to play. That's what we're doing. But I'm gonna I'm just gonna do some blue here and here, a little bit here. Then I'll take my brush and just kind of wipe that off to get the excess off. And then I'm just gonna kind of don't ask what I'm doing. I'm just sitting here playing. I figured I'd do it on camera. And we'll do this part first. And we'll do the blues. And I'm gonna show you what we'll do just to play. Now that I have some blue blobs, put a little bit of blue here because I don't know why, but we will. I'm going to take my water and I'm going to spray it. And we're going to get it watery everywhere. And let's see if this works because I don't know what I put on the base. This is how old this is. I just clean it up. I found it. But what I'm going to do is take a little bit of alcohol, you know, that you get at your pharmacy. See what happens if I do a little drippage here. I if I spread it all over. Now, that didn't really do much of nothing, so I'm going to take my brush and kind of mix in the water with the paint, as you can see. Let's see if this does something different. I really wish I had a spray bottle, but 
I did. There we go. There we go. Just my wet brush. I'm going to go over this. This is a little thick over here. Let's go over this little mound of whatever it is. Just kind of I'm just gonna layer a little bit here. I gotta get a square. I can't even find my little squirty thing that I like to use. I have like a little dropper. Apparently that's too thick over there, but see what it's doing? It's not working with me over here because it's thick. Maybe a little bit more water. I did put that on there thick. Let's see if that'll do anything. Would be better if I had a dropper, but this is what to do with old thing, old uh, canvases that you have that you sit around that you either experiment on or you play with or you find and don't exactly know. Let's make it a background for a painting. Give her a quick dry. Over here, I'm probably going to take up some of this blue because it was a little bit thick. There. And I'm not really worried. It's a cool effect. I don't want to spend all day drawing either, so. Give it a quick draw. This right here is molding paste. So that will get a cool texture when I do go over it with a color. I like the way this looks. And then she runs out of patience with the heat gun. <laughs> She's going to get a paper towel. All right. My patience is just not, lately has been a little off. So I'm just going to lightly dab. A little dab will do you. Just get up that extra water and lift up. Oh, that kind of gives you cool texture. Let's do it over here. Yeah. Off my hands. Pretty cool. That'll soak all that blue in. We're gonna have to do something there. Not sure yet. What though? Okay. So we have our blue. I'm gonna hit it with the heat gun one more time, just because we did get most of the water up. I know how fun to watch paint dry. I want it bright looking, and I don't know. I'm always into the dark colors. I love the browns and maroons and reds, and I mean, I do. I do love pink. But just dark colors really do it for me. And I want to make this kind of bright because I want to do it a background for something. And I don't know how many have how many of you guys, like I said, have. And you can just do this in general if you don't have a canvas sitting around. Use a piece of uh, mixed media or watercolor or even printer paper if you have it. Are there anything I would advise? And I probably will do it, and I didn't do it, think about it before I turned it on, so I thought I had my my thing with me. I, I do have a dropper for the alcohol, but I would probably put it in a spray bottle. I save all kinds of uh, bottles, like my little Liquitex inks, and save them all, because I like to put alcohol in them, or, you know, mix up your own little paint mixtures with water, and do whatever. But you see how easy this was. This was just paint, watered down paint. And alcohol. Alright, so I'm just going to real quick do that. Alright, so I can see a little bit where it's still wet, but I shouldn't obsess, I don't think. So what color do we want to do next? I don't want to do too much of one thing now, since I think the base is cool with the, the green and the blue. But I want some pink and orange in here. So 
Yes, I do. Hmm. All right. Let me rinse my brush. Excuse my arm. What would one of my videos be without one of my arms in it? It would be just a video. All right. Let's take a little, just a little bit of medium magenta. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm going to put a little bit on the brush, just a little bit of medium magenta. And I always like scraping out of here because I always feel it's such wasteful because then it gets hard and then you peel it off. And Although you can use it in things, but over here is a little. And we'll do a little technique on that too. I'm not real sure what yet though, but we'll start. I'm not going to do it real thick. A little bit of water. Excuse my arm. Maybe we'll do the alcohol thing all over it. Um, I don't know what mess I have going over here, but we'll just kind of leave it. Bring it in here. Kind of like around the edges. Drag that around the edges. A little bit. I'm just trying to build a base for right this second. Then I'll just take my towel and then maybe add it here with what I picked up. It didn't do anything, so hey, but it's a really cool tie-dyed looking paper towel so far. So now I'm going to want more pink because that was absolutely nothing. I'm going to put it right there this time, though. Let me use my other brush. I kind of just want it to run. Maybe I'll have it... Yeah, it's hard to... I'm going to paint this bottom. Again, over here. See what we get for doing this now. With my freshly washed, which you would never know, acrylic towel. Just washed it last night. It's brand new clean, <laughs> but you wouldn't know it. So I have that. So I'm going to spray my water just on the top. If it's a little thicker down there. You want it to run a little bit more, leave it run. Let's leave it run for a second. Oh, see now you couldn't see what I sprayed. There we go. We'll just leave it collect on the bottom for a minute. And I'll get my gun. This is just going to be a quick background because, like I said, it's a canvas that I have, but I hate for it to go to waste. And I don't care that this right here, this, um, I guess it's a fern I stamped in the molding paste. I don't care about that which way it heads up or down or whatever. Once I'm put, once I finish the background, once I depend, decide what to put on it. This right here is really cool just to hang like this. Okay, let me just get this real quick. All right. And we'll put it back down. Not bad so far for a old worn out uh, an old worn out um, canvas that I just found in my books. I guess I uh, put it there for later use, and here we are, later using it. Get this right here. When you draw like this in between with the different colors that you add on, I like doing it. Sometimes I don't do it. Sometimes I do. Because I want each color to have its own color. Does that make sense? 
if you do it when it's wet, it will, um, how do you say, uh, like muddy up, mix up together that you don't get individual colors. And I want individual colors. Even though they're very, you know, you can see colors underneath and, and everything like that. So that's why this time I'm drawing a lot. I hate being wasteful. That's my problem. So I thought, instead of me just sitting here by myself doing it, I'll video it and maybe give somebody an idea to whether make your own just to sit and play or to uh, take an old canvas that you did something maybe on it. I have many that I, when I was starting out and that I do not like, and paint over it and start over. Never wasted. Because that just adds more layers and texture to what you're doing. Now I'm going to add a little orange. And I think... I'm going to take my big brush, clean it out a little bit, I'll leave it a little bit wet, but and I'm going to pour my orange just a little bit on here. Let's see what this does. Nothing. I'm sorry, I'll do something with that in a minute. I'm going to really get that color in those ridges then. Orange out here. And a little bit up there. I run my, I put my brush in a little bit of water. I'm just going to run it over what I just did. Run it across the top, wherever you want it. And before, I'm just going to tap it. have it lift it up and leave it run just a little bit. Hmm, digging on this. Yeah. Use your heat gun if you have a lot of extra water like I do, just blow it. Wherever direction you want it. Doesn't matter. do is take a little bit of what color are you? Bright aqua green. I'm just going to put a little bit on my finger. A little bit. Just a little bit like that. And I think I'm going to kind of rub over this. Just real lightly the top parts so it makes it stick out. You don't want too much. I don't want to put it in
And I'm quiet. I concentrate. Isn't that horrible? Looks pretty cool. Hmm. I'm not complaining. I'm gonna take my dab it a little bit with my paper towel. It's just a little bit wet. Kind of blend it in here. You know, around it a little bit. But I think that I'm really happy with my new background. <laughs> Let me turn it this way. And how long did it take? 20 minutes? On a, and it needs to dry a little bit more. But I have a background here that now I can do a mixed media piece on. And it was a canvas that I was going to throw away. And I'm really liking it. Hmm. Very cool. So once it's dry, I can add a piece of art onto it or do whatever I want. Look how cool. Look at that piece that wouldn't come off that was all glue. Looks like I put it there intentionally. Color is a little off on this because this is actually, my daughter would yell at me right now. Because I'm colorblind, so I have a really hard time seeing. But this is actually blue. It looks green on here, and I have no idea why, because it's not. It really is blue. My daughter would yell at me so bad. But it is blue. Maybe once it's dry, it'll show up better. I'll have to take a picture. But yeah, so there you go. And this is just a 11 by 14 canvas. Now I have a brand new background. I can sit and do something fun on. How cool. I hope you all have a great day. I will see you again soon with a new video. Check out my classes over at craftylink.com. I have uh, Mixed Media 101. We start from beginning to end with a, uh, you know, beginning to end with a canvas or paper or whatever you want to use. And I also have Wednesday uh, Faces um, to do that uh, will teach you how to do faces. And I'm working now on a three-quarter portrait. So, um, plus there's tons of other classes over there. So head on over there, and I hope you all have <laughs> my little dog. How cute. Rip my pillow stuffing out. That's how cute. Um, I hope you all have a great day, great weekend, great week, and I will see you on here again. Thank you, guys. Peace to everybody. Bye-bye.